Wait, what? What? I seen like some shadow figure. I love doing my videos. I don't want to go this way. You guys go this way. You seen a shadow figure? What the? It looks like there's a face down there. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a sneaking in type of adventure. Today we are going to be sneaking into an abandoned Air Force base somewhere in North It's super duper cold out here. It's full winter and full force. There is security on the premises, so we have to find a way to avoid security by getting inside this military barracks. The whole reason why we want to get inside is to document, is to film, is to film something really cool for y'all. There's some cool stuff inside that we want to film and get on camera, and we're going to do just that. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be cutting through a big, empty, snowy field, then through a forest, and then make our way inside. Hopefully not get detected by the police or by security. So yeah, guys, pray for me in the comments below. Smash that like button, and let's get on this adventure. All right, guys, as I said before, this adventure is kind of sketchy we're actually trying to sneak in to an abandoned military base it's more more of an air force base is actually what it is not going to say the name of it so just got to be very very careful no lights on sneak into this place the snow is getting much worse the storm is getting bigger we're literally getting in here through a snowstorm right now trying to figure out our way in You guys can see here, we're making it into the base right now. These are all the barracks where the military personnel used to stay. Now there are lights on outside. I have no clue why these lights should not actually be on. All the windows and the doors are boarded up. Take a look at the snow. It's a massive storm right now. Really crazy, but this is just one of the risks we take to giving you guys content. So I hope you guys appreciate this one. Oh, it's super cold. Carlo over here is covered in snow. All right, you guys, we've made it inside the abandoned military base right here. It was very hard to get into, but we finally made it in. Holy shit, so much decay. So I made it inside of one of these bedrooms. This used to be a, a soldier's bedroom at one point. There's a lot in here, a lot of decay. It smells really bad. Now there are a bunch of buildings that are abandoned on the property. And I don't know if they're connected through tunnels, but that's what we're here to find out today. If they're connected through tunnels, this is a laundry room over here. Um, I've never been inside of an abandoned Air Force base. This is cool. I'm gonna go down this way away from the guys. I've got Carlo with me. Oh, really creepy place though. Oh, this is the bathroom. Honestly guys, I don't know anyone that's ever filmed in here besides my friend Jamie and he was here a very long time ago. So I don't, I've never seen his video so I don't know what to expect from this place. What kind of content to find besides like old, abandoned, you know, it's all destroyed. I don't think we're going to find anything left behind from the military when they were here, but it's very, very weird. When we were getting into this place, we found a Canadian flag hung up on a flagpole and a Chinese flag hung up on the flagpole as well. No clue why the Chinese flag was there. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I don't know why a Chinese flag would be hanging on a flagpole at a Canadian military base. I would have filmed it for y'all, but security was like all up on us when we were trying to get into this place. I don't want to get caught. So we just made a discovery that the tunnels are through this door here, connecting all the other buildings together. We can't get through because of this chain. We're going to go upstairs. Right now we're in the basement. We're going to go upstairs and see if we can find a way around that. We're currently on the second floor right now. There's some beds. Oh, cool. Look at what's left behind. There's some furniture in here. Take a look at the decay in here. If this was summertime, we'd literally be suffocating without masks. But it's winter, and the winter kind of abolishes the mold, look at this, there's mold and grass growing on a chair. This is ridiculous. A green chair with grass growing right on it. That's a first for me, I've never seen anything like that before. Pretty interesting. And then they have a bed over here. Wow, I'm guessing this room was shared by two airmen over here. And then you have this room over here. Chairs, again a desk another bed over here and you got another chair with grass growing on it this is insane there's grass growing on chairs that is so cool that grass can grow on a chair it just goes to show you that nature can take over any any minute that it wants wait what what you've seen a shadow figure Ooh, this might be haunted boys What's in here? Haunted bathroom? Yep, haunted shitter, that's for sure. Look at these 
the arms up here, they're in brutal shape. Brutal or beautiful shape? I consider this beauty. Carlos said he's seen a shadow figure somewhere through this way. Um, let's see if we can find something. Hey, I mean, it could be haunted. Could very well be haunted in here. I don't know. I don't know much history about this place. I don't know if anyone's died here. I don't know if this place has seen any military action. It is a military base after all. So there could be some haunted, haunted souls here. So my battery died. Your battery died? Yeah. How? I was charging in the car. You don't have another camera? Whoa, this room isn't as bad as all the other rooms. Look at this. This room is actually the cleanest room out of all of them. Check this out. There's this abandoned bathroom over here. Well, we already know this is abandoned, so I'm just gonna call it a bathroom, but look at this, there's a door here. Oh, please tell me this is a tunnel system. Oh my goodness, I will be thrilled if this place goes into the other building somehow. But it looks like it does not. Oh man, I would be very happy. Can we crawl through the ducks? I've actually crawled through ducks like that before to get into an abandoned building, but no clue why they would just hide this all behind a bathroom. The good thing is, is that I just discovered this. If cops do show up outside, we can hide in here and spend the night here and hide from them. Making my way up to another level. Wow, this level here doesn't look as bad as all the other levels. I think this is the third floor and the final floor in this building at least. I don't know what we can find in the other buildings. This is a very, whoa. Whoa, that was scary. It might be the way, but there's no windows open over here. What the f Okay, that was creepy. Yo, this was creepy. Yo, come here right now, Carlo. Yo, there's something in here. Is it? Oh, wait a sec. The roof is exposed. That's why. There's no wind, but there's snow coming down. And it scared the crap out of me. I thought something, there was like a freaking ghost in here or something. Wow, that scared me. Holy moly. Yo, you know what happened? I didn't realize that the roof was exposed here and this thing just started going like crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually snowing in here, so the roof is open. Yeah. Look at how a few rooms where it's open and the snow is coming Wow, in. it's so destroyed. I don't know why they don't just tear these things down, but you know, thank God they don't because it's content for us. There's an attic over here. Cool. Making my way down the hallway, we're still trying to find a way to see if there's tunnels combining this side with the other buildings. If not, we're gonna have to go back outside through the storm, risk getting caught again, and make our way into another place. But hey, this place could very well be haunted. Let me know in the comments below if you guys spot anything off camera. Make sure you pin it down in the comments below. Whoa! Oh, that's ice. Ooh, that's slippery. I almost fell. Wow. Look at this place. These guys had some cool red curtains. Yeah. Dang, look at the snow coming in. Pretty cool, right? It's still looking pretty shitty and scary out there with all that snow. The big snowstorm that just came upon us out of nowhere. All right guys, it's time for us to get outside and go try to explore the other buildings. I think there's a big training wall out here somewhere, but we might not be able to see it because of the snowstorm. So yeah, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can outside, but there is a snowstorm. I don't wanna ruin my camera. I'll try to do what I, what I can, so. Hopefully we can get into the other buildings. If not, I'll let you guys know. So this is what it looks like on the outside right now. Really creepy, really, really cold, and really snowy. If you guys can't see the snow, take a look at this. Snow everywhere, oh my God, it's freaking crazy. But yeah, this is life here in Canada. Just like a colored ball. How on earth did we just stumble upon a colored ball in the middle of the freaking snow here? This is cool. <laughs> We're literally exiting the military base. We stumbled was upon this in the snow. It kind of freaked us out. We thought it was like some sort of ground sensor. So I don't know how long that video was, 
We checked out the other buildings. They're all pretty much the same. There's not much going on in them. It wasn't worth it for me to film it. I don't want to bore you guys and give you guys nothing. We did find the cafeteria and the basically mess hall, but couldn't get into it. We could just see it from the outside. So I think I'm going to combine this video with another video. The reason why we were even out here is to film a bunch of abandoned spots that we did film on the way here. And this was just like a... You know, a quick video that we thought we would try out, see if we can make it in. We did sneak in, which was a bonus, and we got away, which was a big bonus. But there wasn't much going on. There was actually another abandoned Air Force base about half an hour away from here. We actually checked it out first. It was actually more boring than this one. So I hope, I, I don't know, you guys probably still enjoyed this one. You probably still enjoyed the thrill. You probably still enjoy seeing Mo Sarge on camera, man. I know, I know, it's all good though. But hey, I might uh, mix this in with another vlog. This is much later on into the night. I'm actually about to take you guys to another abandoned place. I'm about to actually go into an abandoned bowling alley all by myself. Carlo's not feeling good, so he's gonna stay here in the car. And he's gonna stay as the lookout as well in case any security rolls up on me. I've never been inside this place. I've never been inside by myself into this place. So it's kind of creepy in there from what I hear and from what I see on social media. Um, it is a pretty famous abandoned spot. It's actually an abandoned bowling alley. All right, you guys, making my way into this abandoned bowling alley. I've been wanting to come here for a very, very long time. And I'm actually, no word of a lie, here all by myself. I don't know if this place is haunted or not, but I'm here alone because Carlo was kind of scared to come in here with me. So he's waiting outside in the car. So I'm kind of on my nerves right now for being here all by myself, but it's all good. I like kind of doing scary adventures like this by myself. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna try to keep this video, whoa. I'm gonna try to keep this video as unedited as possible. As you guys can see, this is an abandoned bowling alley. It sounds like the floor is about to break, holy moly. I wonder if I could find some bowling pins and some balls. That'd be really cool. For a second there, I thought the discoloration here was just water, but it's actually not. Whoa. I thought I heard something in here. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. I'm not gonna lie. So there is a downstairs, and I don't know if there's bowling pins or balls downstairs. We're gonna go outside we're gonna go downstairs together, me and you guys. And we're gonna see if we can find anything. Right now, I'm in the back of the area where your bowling balls would end up. This is cool that it's an abandoned bowling alley. I haven't been to an abandoned bowling alley in a very long time. If you guys wanna see an abandoned bowling alley video, video that I did with my friend Aldo a really long time ago, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Oh God, that sounds scary. I wonder where the basement is. So when my friend Carlo came here a long time ago, he was playing an actual full game of bowling. I guess somebody has stolen all the balls and the pins, unless they've moved them down to the basement. I'm gonna go down to the basement and check it out for myself and see if I can find anything. What the fuck was that? Okay, there's, is there something in here? I thought I seen something all the way over there. Keep your eyes wide open guys. Let me know in the comments below if you see anything. I'm here by myself, which freaks me out the most. But let's go down in the basement and see if we can find anything. I was expecting to find bowling pins and balls, but I found nothing up here. Just a shame that people would come here and destroy everything, leave nothing behind. They've literally stripped this place. They've taken the floors apart. I'm not sure why. They've destroyed all the tables right here. No balls left, no pins left, nothing as you guys can see. It sucks because this place when it first became abandoned a really long time ago, everything was left behind. Hey, check it out. I just found a trophy. Pretty cool. That's somebody's bowling trophy. It's destroyed, but it's been left behind. A really loud bang in here. I was trying to film a cinematic. And I'm hiding here in the corner. Hello? Anyone there? Fuck. It's so quiet in here. And that's what freaks me out the most about this place is how quiet it actually is. But check it out, I just found another trophy over here. What the fuck? 
What's that? I can assure you there's nobody else in here. And there's no homeless people living in here either. What the? It looks like there's a face down there. I just realized something, the TVs are still there. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty freaked out right now, but I must push on. Look at this. Wow, look at all this. A room with Winnie the Pooh all over the walls. Happy birthday, I guess this is where they had the little party room with the kids. This is cool. The fact that I'm in here all by myself makes this just that much more exciting and more thrilling. I don't have any weapons on me. I actually left my knife in the car. But it's all good. I don't think I'm gonna need it. I hope not at least. Time to go down to the basement and see what we can find down there. Hopefully there's bowling pins and balls down there. Check out what people have done to these vending machines. Completely destroyed. I don't get why anybody would do such a thing. Look at this. I found a plastic apple. Pretty interesting. And then just put apart. Whoa, check this out. I just found a room with a ton of bowling shoes. Look at this. Whoa, papers everywhere. This is like a back room office. But I found shoes. Take a look at all these leftover shoes. These could be actually donated to like the homeless or something. I just got a message from Carlo. Hopefully it's good news. Yeah, we're Gucci go. You're Gucci man. Just let me know when you're ready to come out. Text me before you come out and make sure no one's walking near you or driving near you before you come out those doors. And when you come out, make sure the door slams shut, like, you know what I mean, so it's closed. All right, well, that, you guys heard it. Carlo, just let me know that it's still good outside. No security coming up on me, which is good. I'm all by myself, that's good. But yeah, I'm interested in these shoes. I would love to actually take these with me and donate them to the homeless. Like, it'd be really cool if I could do that, but it would be stealing and I don't want to steal. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Look at all this though. I don't know what these are. Oh, this is for a projector. These are slides for a projector. This is pretty cool. Just made it down in the basement and I had no idea that there was another bowling alley down here. This might be where the pins actually are. Wow, this is cool. Yo, look at that, there's a coffee maker right here and a trophy. This is cool. There's a left behind trophy, I like this. This is what I came here for. I want to see trophies, I want to see bowling pins. So hopefully I can find some bowling pins. I'm gonna go down to the lanes and see if I can find anything. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are good at bowling. I wanna show you guys something crazy. So if you see how the wood here for the lanes have been buckled up like that, this isn't destruction from humans. This isn't destruction from little kids trying to break things. This is literally simply from nature. Water has gotten in onto these lanes. And what happens over time is when water gets in here in the cold, it freezes and it buckles up all the wood and it makes it rise up like this. It's kind of scary when you think about it because look at that. You could literally crawl under there and hide if you wanted to. And that's something I plan on doing if the cops show up. But hopefully cops don't show up. Look at this room right here. I don't know what it is. Oh, I think this was a party room. It is so moldy and smelly in here. It's disgusting. There's literally too much mold in this place. This is the ladies' bathroom. Sure is. I literally just felt like there was something breathing down my neck just now. Holy crap. Maybe it's the mold getting to me. I don't know, but... I'm freaking myself out right now. Well, for once, the boys' bathroom's cleaner than the girls' bathroom. That's interesting. Okay, so you don't want to close? This door better not slam on me later. It stayed open by itself. What the fuck is that down there? That just scared the living shit out of me. There's a reflection. My light is reflecting against something. I need a weapon just in case. Oh, I'm freaking out right now. Fuck. I'm actually freaking out. I need a weapon. Just in case there's something down there because I've seen the reflection of something. Fuck, there's literally nothing. Nothing for me to carry. What is that? It's changing colors too. Do you guys see that down there? It could be my light reflecting off of a piece of glass down there, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, there we go. Found a piece of metal. Hopefully, I can find some bowling pins here, or some balls. I really want to be able to find some balls. Look at this mural. Look at this. This is Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Pretty cool, right? Ah. Oh, all right. 
So there's no balls here and no pins at all. Why is there no balls or no pins? I don't get it. I just heard one loud ass thump. Could, could be my movements. Oh, fuck, I really, really want to find some pins. It'd be hella cool if I could find something. So as I was, so it looks like those reflections that I seen were just reflectors over here. Yet again, no bowling balls, no pins, nothing. Just some trophies, some murals. We had Goku from Dragon Ball Z over there, and we have Vegeta over here. Pretty cool. I can't believe they have Dragon Ball Z characters here. By the way, I was just joking about the Dragon Ball Z thing. I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. Those are not Dragon Ball Z characters. We all know those are Tom and Jerry characters from the cartoon Tom and Jerry. Again, I'm just trolling. I know that's not Tom and Jerry. I just like to troll sometimes. Pretty cool. Those murals that we just saw, they were part of the Looney Tunes crew. Like these guys, the Tasmanian Devil over here. You got the Pussycat, I don't remember his name. If you guys remember his name, let me know. There's a Roadrunner, there's the, the Duck. There's a dude with a red beard. I don't remember any of these guys' names. But it's cool that they have all these things here. Murals. All right guys, just like I snuck into this place all by myself, I'm gonna sneak out of here all by myself. I'll check back with you guys in the car. I'm gonna turn off my light. I don't wanna risk getting caught on my way out of here. I'll see you guys outside. All right guys, I'm back to the car. Carlos stayed here. He's actually not feeling good, which is why he didn't want to come with me. I told him in the video that you were kind of scared shitless to go in. <laughs> he wasn't scared shitless. That was actually scary, going in there all by myself. Like the vibes that I was getting in there and the mold. There's so much mold in there, bro. Yeah. Thank God it's not summertime, because if it was summertime, it'd be a million times worse than this. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little. I'll see you guys on the next one.